Uh, next round? Yeah. Don't have a standard, so what's the plan for that final? Uh, you know, I've won three straight here. Um, one of my good friends asked me that question a couple days ago, and you know the medals I want, you can't get without a standard. So we'll see You know, if Donovan wants to take it out. If not, I got nothing to lose, man. I mean, national championships indoors are cool and all, but uh, you know, it's a different kind of hardware that I'm shooting for. So uh, you know, I think it'll be a fast race regardless. So you're going to just boss like Donovan tonight? Like, hey, man, you know what we're Nah, nah, no, I mean, he, he's not going to tell me regardless, you know? I mean, he's got the standard, I mean. But at the same time, uh, I don't know if I necessarily want Drew and some of those guys really, really close in the race, because I know Clayton didn't get in, but, uh, right? He did not. Uh, but you don't want Drew hanging around for sure, so. I think it'll be honest. Uh, I mean, they were out hard, and they kind of slowed down for 400. Uh, I think that rhythm will keep going them out. If not, I'm not afraid to take it. How did today feel? It was fine. Uh, alley start, obviously not ideal. I can't, I, I've never been in an alley start at 800 as a pro, even in college, so that felt kind of amateur. I mean, even 2013, 2014, 2016, we ran more heats with, with less guys. So, you know, running the whole thing in lane one, you don't get that benefit coming off the bank that first 200, so you got to work a little bit harder. Huh? So, you know, six guys in the final, I got my own lane and we're rolling. Did, did it take anything extra out of you going, like, you know, you went to Europe, chased the standard, run pretty fast, yeah. but didn't get it? I mean, compared to some of these guys who just sort of stayed home and got it and maybe won rates? Uh, you know, hindsight's 2020. Obviously, I would have loved to have run Milrose knowing that that race is going to be that fast, but we figure, you know, two, two chances at the standard is better than one. Uh, obviously, it didn't happen, but I travel really well now. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me too much, so, you know, maybe one day on the back end coming home, I'll, I'll take an easy day, but... Usually within 24 hours, I'm back to normal, so. Yeah, no, the, the joke on Twitter is, like, during the summer, oh, did Eric Swinsky race today? Like, oh, of course he did. He ran, like, 145, 145. Yeah, I mean, I just stretched last year. I ran, I don't know, it was, like, seven or eight races in 15 days. That included a flight from Portland, New York, and a flight from New York to London. But, man, I love racing. Uh, my coach, Joey Woody, was, uh, you know, he's a four-meter hurdler, and he was telling me, you know, they used to race every other day on the circuit when they were on it. So, you know, we kind of adapt that flashback mindset as far as track and field goes in training and you know racing and like I said I enjoy it I mean I train by myself so getting to travel see some places and you know even train with some of those guys overseas it's, it's a lot of fun for me. Yeah. Do you think the IAF should change qualifying given that especially you know you didn't have to stand it two years ago and you came away with it? Yeah you know I mean 146.50 is fast um, I, mean, I think if you look at last year I think there were three guys who had the standard from last year indoors um, but I mean it is what it is. Uh, you know, I think if I were in Millrose or if I was in Boston, I probably would have the standard right now. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, like I said, hindsight's 2020. 20. Uh, just got to lay it on the track tomorrow and, you know, it's the best standard. Do you wish USATF would do what they did with you two years ago, where they kind of gave an exception and let you... No, so, I mean, the only reason they did that is because we only had one guy with the standard, and that was Boris. So, the IAAF goes on a descending order list, and they invite the athletes, and then USATF accepted that on my behalf. So, you know, they won't do that this year. We'll only get two guys. Uh, but I think regardless, we're going to send two really, really quality guys that, you know, shoot you for medals for artists. All right, thanks, yes. Eric. Thanks,